was a vibrant little boy with a big heart. Mitchell Chang died last February in a tragic drowning accident. Tonight, for the first time, his parents are opening up about the heartbreaking loss and how they've tried to create something positive in the months since. Jeffany Gray with how they hope Mitchell's legacy lives on. Some of our absolute happiest memories were on the playground. And just if families can, the, if they can bond, grow stronger in honor of Mitchell, that's amazing. After almost a year, April and Marvin Chang are talking about a foundation they started in honor of their son, three-year-old Mitchell Chang. He drowned while swimming during an event at Love to Swim School in Stone Oak. It's the worst call a parent can get. And this call you'll never, ever forget. She started <laughs> screaming, baby, we have to go, baby, we have to go. Mitchell later died at the hospital. You don't ever think it could happen to yourself. No. And the way that we lost him, who would ever think that a child would drown at a swim school? Their best memory of their son was how loving, playful, and caring he was. If other kids were scared, I mean, he would he would just lean over and say, it's okay, and you could hear him saying it, because he always said that, it's okay. To cope with their devastation, April and Marvin started the Mental Chang Foundation, a nonprofit that builds safety-conscious playgrounds for communities. Their next big project, a private-themed playground at Class and Steuben Park in Mitchell's honor. We wanted to turn literally bad to good. The family encourages parents to ask more questions about their child's swim school to ensure their safety. A mistake, it's, it's a lot to put on a person, but one mistake can end a life. That was Jeff and Gray reporting. Employees who were working the night of that tragic accident resigned from their positions or were placed on an indefinite leave of absence. The Love to Swim School was also sold to Elmer Swim School. As far as Mitchell's playground, it's expected to be up and running in a couple of years.